Item. SCP-1164. Object Class. Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-1164 is to be contained in a sealed chamber at site. Placed atop a steel platform one meter off the floor. All surfaces of the containment chamber must be composed of stainless steel over a brick support interior, as should all construction within a 50 meter radius. No samples of worked stone, unworked stone, or concrete should be brought within SCP-1164's containment radius. Description. While inert, SCP-1164 resembles a mundane paving slab of poured concrete. 3.6 meters x 4.5 meters x 0.3 meters in dimensions. It exhibits signs of wear and tear consistent with repeated exposure to outdoor elements. It can be handled by remote equipment safely and shows no anomalous properties while being manipulated by such. Tests have shown that SCP-1164 is capable of transferring its anomalous properties in full to any volume of stone or concrete within 25 meters that measures at least 1 meter x 1 meter x 0.25 meters, while its previous manifestation becomes inert and non-anomalous. At any time. Should a living human being or an article of clothing worn by a living human being make contact with SCP-1164 surface, they will adhere to the object surface and be unable to remove themselves. Approximately 5, 5, seconds after making contact, the subject will begin to be drawn into SCP-1164, starting at the point of contact, and 4, 4. Male humanoid faces will rise out of the top surface of SCP-1164. The subject will be absorbed at a rate of 10 cm minute, during which only physical separation from the surface of the object via amputation will halt the absorption. The object's mass does not change during this process, though the rate of absorption is greatly degraded if the surface of the object directly opposite the point of contact is exposed to open air. Only one subject can be absorbed by SCP-1164 at a time, though absorption can be accelerated by having multiple simultaneous points of contact. Subjects being absorbed have described an inability to feel or move any portion of their body inside the object, as if under heavy local anesthetic, though all other motor and cognitive functions remain unimpaired. While the subject is being absorbed, any noises or vocalizations uttered by the subject will be echoed by the four manifested faces in the a cappella style of a barbershop quartet. The face closest to the point of contact will act as the quartet's lead, with the tenor, bass, and baritone proceeding clockwise around the slab. When the subject has been completely absorbed, the protruding faces undergo one of two changes. If the absorbed subject was male, the lead face shifts to resemble that of the tenor, the tenor to that of the bass, the bass to that of the baritone, and the baritone face transforms into the face of the absorbed subject. Otherwise, the four faces simply rotate their appearances one step clockwise, then all four faces recede into the surface and disappear.